I love this valley and I love this land. I've been real concerned at, at some of the things that I've seen. The forest isn't as healthy as the forest needs to be. We've had years and years of drought, um, bark beetle infestation, a fire that actually threatened the entire valley. We were in our sixth year of drought in 2004. We've had droughts in Big Bear. I mean, it's part of our ecosystem, but uh, the trees didn't die like this year. And I think a lot of our aquifers kind of dried up, at least that's my assumption. Our, uh, our lake was, yeah. what, 15, 18 yeah. feet down? And even after a, a decent snow, it still stayed down. Our community was looking for ways to solve the drought problem. I would like to see these agencies think outside the box. The thought of bringing someone in with indigenous knowledge was not something that any of the agencies had thought of. It's just been such a blessing as far as I'm concerned that we were able to meet Blue Thunder back last year. Blue Thunder set up this amazing medicine wheel ceremony. Think of all the things that this mountain needs. You've lived here for so long. You know the healing that it needs. All of the bad things that's happened here needs to be erased. And so the message is the Great Spirit. As soon as we started training for our medicine wheel ceremony, um, we had a snowfall of two feet, and this was in October. As the winter progressed, it turned out to be the second wettest winter in history in Bear Valley. And this all happened after uh, all the predictions were that we were in the, the most severe drought with no end in sight. You can do this with sound and vibration. Mother Earth, be with us.